G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel, I'm Josh. In this video, we're looking at an introduction to probability. So what is probability? Probability is the chance of an event or events occurring. Now we're gonna have a look at some various parts of probability, how we work this out by having a look at an example. So say for instance, we were looking at rolling a six-sided dice. We're just gonna get straight into this and we'll get those formulas and that sort of thing that we use as we go along. So say we were rolling a six-sided dice. We have one, two, and three right there. And what we wanted to know is a couple of things with this. Say, first off, we wanted to know what was the probability of rolling a four? Now, the way that we work this out is pretty simple. What we're gonna to think to ourselves is, okay, how many possible outcomes do we have when we roll a six-sided dice? And you think, okay, there's six of them. You could roll a one, a two, a three, a four, a five, a six. How many of these are favorable outcomes? That is, how many of these outcomes are the answer that we're after after that are the result of a four? As you can see, it's one of them. So the probability that we have is equal to one out of six. There's a one in six chance of rolling that. Now, the way that we define this is as follows, just for those people who are into definitions here. So the probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of favorable outcomes divided by the number of total outcomes. So as you can see here, the number of favorable outcomes that we have here, well, we're after a four, so there's only one of those. The total number of outcomes is a six. So there we go, we have a uh, probability of one in six. What about we do a different one now? What about we say, what's the probability of rolling an even number? Okay, so you might have a bit of a look at this and you go, okay, how many of these are even numbers? I'll get rid of this four here. You could say, okay, there's one, two, three of them. There's three favorable outcomes, and this is over still a total of six outcomes, that one to six there. So what about we have a look at another example here where we have a look at this one, where we look at the possible outcomes of flipping a coin. So we have a coin right here, and on this side, we have heads, okay? So we have some person's uh, mug on one side, and on the other side, we have tails. What is the probability of flipping a head? Now, this is nice and simple. You should be able to do this. If you have a look, okay, there's two possible outcomes. We could get a heads or a tails. So there's two possible outcomes in total. All right, how many of those are heads? Just one. So it's a one in two chance. Now it's worth noting at this point, we can change this into its decimal equivalent. You know, one divided by two is equal to 0.5. Or another way is we could change it to a percentage equivalent, multiply that decimal by 100 and say there is a 50% chance. And that's always that probability may be expressed there. But I quite actually like the fraction version because it actually tells you nice and simple, there's a one in two chance. Okay, what about instead we have a look at the probability of rolling heads or tails, okay? Either heads or tails. Now, what's the probability here? Heads or tails? Now, heads or tails, either of them are good. So there's two favorable outcomes, and that's still out of a possible two outcomes there. There you go, two divided by two is equal to one. So what we have there is a 100% possibility of that occurring, it's 100% certain. So if we have a look at probability, probability in terms of a decimal, it can go all the way up as far as a certain event, a 100% certain event occurring, where we have a PR that's equal to one, and that's a certain event. Or what we can actually have is the lowest probability that we can have is zero, okay? And that is an event that would be, I guess, impossible. All right, so if you were to think about that, uh, that could be something like, what's the probability of throwing a six or something with a, a, you know, a coin? You can't do that, it has a zero possibility there. So that's worth remembering because it is going to come up in a little bit on how this can save us a bit of our time as well. So let's have a look at a harder example now. Say, for instance, we toss two coins. This time we're tossing two coins and we're finding some different probabilities associated with this. The first probability, what is the probability of getting two heads? What is the probability of getting two tails? And then what is the probability of getting one head and one tail. It doesn't have to be an order, you can get a heads and a tails, or a tails and a head. But what's the probability of that? Now, in order to help us solve this, we use a tree diagram. And this diagram will allow us to see all the different outcomes that are possible. So, the way we draw this is as follows. So we're going to consider these two different coin tosses as two different events. We have that first event, and then we have that second event. Now, first of all, on that very first throw, we have two different possibilities we could get. We throw that very first throw and we could get a heads or a tails. And we draw that in like that. 
The next thing we do for that second event is we throw the coin again. Now, we could get a heads or a tail. So what we do is we draw that off this very first diagram here. So first off, we could have got a head, and then on that second toss, we could have got a heads or a tails. Alternatively, we could have got a tails for that first toss, and for that second toss, got a heads, then a tails. Cool. Now, by going along each one of these successive branches here, we can go through and see the different outcomes. So first off, we get a heads, then a heads. We could get a heads, then a tails. We get a tails, then a heads. We could get a tails and a tails. And as you can see, in total, there are one, two, three, four possible outcomes there. So we can go through now and easily solve our questions here. So first off, we had the probability of a heads and a heads. So we know that bottom number is going to be a four. There's four total outcomes. How many of these are heads and heads? And as you can see, it's this one here. It's a one in four chance. Next, we have a tails and a tails. Well, as you can see, it's the same thing. We have one out of four. So it's a one in four chance. What about now getting one heads and one tails? So we have a look at this. We have this one, which is one head and one tail and this one, which has one head and one tail. So all together, we have two out of four probability of that occurring. And that's how you go through and you start dealing with multiple events occurring. So what about we up the ante just a little bit more and we're now gonna have a look at three coins. So now let's have a look at where we throw three coins. As you can see, I'm going to make the writing a little bit smaller because our uh, tree diagram is going to be a little bit bigger to accommodate this. We're going to find out the probability of getting three heads. Head, head, head. We're going to find out the probability of getting two heads and one tail in any old order. We're going to find out the probability of getting at least one head. Okay, we'll find out what those are and we're going to do that by drawing a tree diagram. What about you pause the video and give this a go? Yeah? Okay, so now I'm gonna go through the answers. So three coins, we have three events. So I'm gonna draw those in. We have one, two, three. Now I'm gonna start a little bit down here just to give us a bit of space to draw out this expanding tree diagram that will occur. So starting here, we have a heads or a tails for that very first throw. So heads or tails. For that second throw, we could get a heads, then a tails, or we could get a heads, then a tails. For that third throw, well, it's the same sort of thing out there again. We get heads or tails, we get heads or tails, we get heads or tails, we get heads or tails. So now what we can do is we can go through and draw out all the possible outcomes. So let's do that. We get heads, heads, heads. We have heads, heads, tails. We have heads, tails, heads. We have heads, tails, tails. We have now tails, heads, heads. We have tails, heads, tails. We have tails, tails, heads. And we have tails, tails, tails. Now, how many outcomes all together? You can count them up. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight outcomes. Eight outcomes all together. Cool. So we're gonna have a lot of numbers out of eight here. So what's the probability of throwing Three heads here. So as you can have a look here, three heads. Only one of those is a favorable outcome there. So it is one out of eight. All right, the next one we have is, what's the probability of throwing two heads and one tail? So two heads and one tail, that's this one here. Also here we have two heads and one tail. Uh, also here we have two heads and one tail, and that is all. So all together we have a three in eight chance of that occurring, a three in eight probability of that occurring. Now finally, if we have a look at a probability of getting at least one head. So this one has at least one head, 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 this one has no heads. So all together we have seven of those. There's seven out of eight probability of that occurring. Now that's how you go through and you work out probability. Like I said, it's just an introduction. In some future videos, we are going to be having a look at more funky little examples. So stay tuned for those. Anyway, that's all for this video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for watching. A big shout out to more of my patrons and subscribers. If you've lasted this long, maybe just go that little extra step and consider becoming a patron of the Tech Math channel. There is a link in the description below. 
Anyway, big shout out once again to my patrons and subscribers. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.